Howdy champs, my name is Mohitan People. Today I'm going to talk about the new input types and attributes while you are creating forms in HTML5. Uh, let me show you a picture. Now the search email URL tell number range date month week time date time date time local and color these are the new input types uh, that we have available with us uh, while we are working with forms in HTML5 along with the placeholder and autofocus attributes too. We'll look at all this. Uh, let's start off with a small form that I've already created. So uh, we have the opening and the closing form tags. We are using HTML5 people. Inside which I have a pair of opening closing paragraph tags, a label which says name and an input uh, tag with the name attribute set to email type set to email placeholder which kind of gives you a hint as to what we need to enter uh, inside the uh, text box it clearly says enter uh, in email format okay and then we have a submit button this button so this is the text box let's take up a, a browser preview in Google Chrome now notice this was the text inside the placeholder enter in email format and the moment you type something that text the grayed out text actually disappears okay now if you try to enter anything which is not an email and you hit the submit button you're gonna get an alert which says uh, please enter an email address okay it's kind of validating straight away without you having to do so that's the magic let me um, and let me show you that is so very easy to actually change the uh, type either you can just click out here and change the type you can go down out here and change the type or you can be in the tag inspector and uh, just drop down and change the type from the several available out here or else excuse me you can be out here press control and space bar and you'll get the different input types from here too Okay. So it is so very easy to uh, change the input type from here. Um, in fact, let's start creating things from the very beginning. Okay, so let's demolish everything that we have inside the opening and the closing body tags and uh, be in the design view for a moment. Hit this tag, or hit this icon people notice that I'm using the classic workspace and then I'm in the forms tab I'm hitting this first icon to insert the opening closing form tags you see the code form name method action form right and inside the opening closing form tags people let me insert a text field and let's give it a name of uh, XYZ and a label of A, B, C or whatever, right? And let's say okay. So this is the text box in question. Let's be in the split view and see what kind of code has been inserted. So input type is equal to text, name X, Y, Z, ID X, Y, Z, and label A, B, C or whatever. Okay. Now, people, have, as I've told you earlier, I can go out here in the uh, type field like so and uh, be in the tag inspector change the type from here or else I can just be out here click somewhere out here inside the type uh, attribute press control space and let's say change it to color okay now different browsers will render this attribute or will show this attribute differently okay so let's take up a view in uh, the different browsers that I have let's start off with the uh, Chrome right it allows you to choose a color mm, let's try out Internet Explorer well nothing you just need to input the color name and uh, yep let's have a look in Safari inside Safari yes <laughs> not quite supported I mean it will allow you to enter a color name or hexadecimal code but it will not give you that color palette that we saw in uh, Chrome right 
people things appear a little differently um, in the uh, mobile platform so I would want I would urge you to check uh, that too so also they appear a little differently in the Mac OS so you can try that too it's a little empowered out there in these two uh, platforms the mobile and the Mac OS all right so let's change uh, this to let's say the search field okay I'm changing the type to search and uh, yep and let's see what kind of a difference do we have at the moment right people notice that now this is a search field this is not an ordinary field and if you enter something it allows you this uh, cross symbol to click and delete everything now I'm gonna use the placeholder attribute for the very first time I'm gonna go out here and say placeholder and let's say mm, just say search box or whatever and let's see what difference does it actually make uh, you can see that the word search box is kind of grayed out but it's like hinting you selling you to enter something out here right okay so this is what placeholder actually does and the moment you start typing something inside that uh, text field you know it disappears the hint disappears right so that's the placeholder new attribute viewed for you and then we have the autofocus okay and uh, this will bring the text field into focus immediately on page load so you can see this uh, field is highlighted in Safari that's simply because it's already on focus on a page load so that's the uh, autofocus attribute okay let's change this to uh, control spacebar let's change this to mm, let's try email so this will allow you to enter nothing but the email at least uh, at the same time I should uh, change this to email format right yep so enter anything else and it won't allow you in fact I need a button out here so let me be in the uh, design view and hit enter out here insert a submit button right now we need a button to be able to submit this information let's see how things work now yep so enter anything else and it'll prompt you to enter an email address okay let's try the tell for the telephone number okay obviously the placeholder will change too telephone or whatever right there you go it didn't validate if you notice it did not validate this time just the way it did with the email thing and uh, okay now I want to show you something people so this image was uh, is, is showing you all the different uh, uh, input types that we have the next image now as I told you things appear a little differently in uh, on the mobile platform this is a picture of a um, an iPhone okay see one input type is search and the way it actually appears is that it gives you rounded corners for your text box now that doesn't happen uh, when you're using the the Windows desktop or the laptop environment this will happen only once you're on the mobile uh, environment uh, as you can very clearly see out here I'll show you the next picture now uh, as far as the email field is concerned you see the the uh, keyboard on the mobile is geared up to match the email address format or the URL format in this case so when you're on the mobile platform the the, the the you know the keypad at the bottom 
is going to adjust to the input type whether it's a telephone a number an email address or a URL all right and hence is going to change its look this is a case uh, where we want to enter a, a URL and this is the case where we want to enter a number so the you know the numpad or the uh, small keypad that appears at the bottom is going to change along the along with the uh, type that we have entered out here so that's a very cool cool thing right <coughs> let me go back let me um, check the search now the search box as, as we have talked about earlier appears a little differently in the Mac iOS and the mobile platform it appears as rounded corners right uh, let's change this to something else uh, how about uh, have I already shown you the color I doubt that okay obviously the uh, placeholder is gonna change in, in in this example the placeholder isn't gonna appear at all people let me show it to you and again things appear a little differently in on the iPhone the different mobiles the Blackberry and uh, but this is the way it actually appears on my desktop all right and uh, some of the browsers actually don't support it cool let's check the date out so let's see what this actually does yep so that's the date picker for you right let's try the time right and uh, let's try the um, date time local yeah so allows you to pick that local date and time right then we have the what have I actually missed out on A range now you need a little bit of uh, JavaScript along with this to make it actually functional standalone it just gives you this a slider and nothing else okay so you need to include a little bit of JavaScript along with this and let's try out let's see what I've actually missed email we have already done mm, we've done the search we've done the tell let's try out the URL allows you to enter a URL. Let's check it out in Chrome. Let's see if it actually validates. This telephone is uh, the placeholder. Obviously that needs to change too. So, okay yes the validation is happening out here. But again the validation may not happen in all the browsers. Let's try out Safari. Let's see if the validation happens out here. No it doesn't. Okay, so the validation may or may not happen depending on the browser you use. And as I've told you earlier, things appear a lot differently. The custom uh, keyboard actually appears when you're using the mobile platform, when you're using the iPads, the Androids, the Blackberries, and the Mac OS. Again, it may appear slightly differently. I would urge you to try out all the different uh, uh, platforms available. All right, people. So, uh, and yes, obviously we have the number uh, type that allows you to add a numeric stepper as well. So, you see, and obviously this placeholder is going to change to enter a number or whatever you would like to have going, right? enter number sorry it has to be a number so along with the uh, you see the type number I can add in uh, more attributes like uh, uh, min let's say 10 and a max let's say 20 and value which is the current value and let's say 40 or whatever and then we have something called step in steps of or multiples of let's say 5 and I'm actually done see uh, notice the way the code has actually changed so max 20 10 5 40 
and let's see how it actually looks inside the browser so you see max is uh, 40 min is 10 a step of 5 multiples of 5 right oh right so max is actually 20 it should be 60 when you have a value of 40 let's look up again right cool so people uh, let's sum it all up with HTML5 you have uh, new attributes to work with while you're working with forms autofocus placeholder autofocus does nothing but gets the focus on that specific uh, field and uh, then the input types we have so many uh, new input types like number URL tell email search uh, with the number text field you have the min max step and value attributes going to right and the validation may or may not happen in some browsers uh, for example the email validation uh, right and uh, things appear radically differently on the Mac uh, OS on the iPhones Androids and Blackberries so I would urge you to uh, check the uh, output or the browser preview there too it's actually greatly empowered out there you get custom keypads uh, when, when you are on the mobile uh, platform when you make the changes to the input types right and the input types you can change in three different ways either be in the uh, type field press control spacebar or you can go to tag inspector and uh, you can just drop down and change the the input type from here too so people I hope you found this information uh, useful I hope uh, that uh, you'll subscribe you'll comment you'll thumb it up and uh, you'll also keep coming back for uh, more and more tutorials from me have a good day bye bye peace